and okay so one of the first features that you need to know is how to freeze layers within blocks yes for example so let me go over here and open my layer palette really quick to uh, freeze some of these layers all right so we have this block right here of a person and so if i freeze this um, let me first change some of the settings uh, really quick so if i freeze this block um, you can see that my whole block disappeared and that's not what i want i only wanted to freeze the lines inside my block so i'm gonna undo that with ctrl z so in order to freeze layers inside a block let's use again the lay freeze command right and so there is an option here at the bottom that says settings so let's pick that and there is another option block selection so let's pick that again and finally we need to pick the entity option so once we do that let's take a look at what happened when i select the lines inside my block so i'm gonna click that and boom you can see that only the lines inside my block were frozen which is nice because i only wanted the outline of my blocks to show isn't that great so that nice little hidden feature uh, freezing objects within blocks all right so let's keep moving with the next one the next one is gonna be to lock and unlock blocks yes so sometimes happen that you have blocks that you created in this case this block right here and there are other people that will use your blocks or your drawings so if you wanted to lock them so that when they explode or try to explode your block with the regular explode command and of course they're gonna select your block and press enter so you can see that now if they do that you, your block is gonna be and a polyline like so and if we want to avoid that let me undo that we can get inside our block by right clicking on it and pick block editor and over here if we open the property palette using its shortcut pr there is a nice little option here that says allow exploring and right now says yes so if we change it to no and close and save the changes and look what happened when I try to explode the block again. You can see that nothing will happen. It, this is still a block. And if we open the uh, command line, you can see that it says one could not be exploded. That is because we locked the block and again, in the same procedure we can unlock our blocks by changing allow exploding from no to yes all right so that's a nice hidden feature for autocad blocks that you need to know in order to save time in autocad so let's keep moving with the next and the next is the ability to trim and clip blocks yes so let me first um, uh, show you this door over here and let's uh, let's first change the x frame to 2 because I'm redoing this again so x clip delete all right so let's say for instance i have this block over here and this is a dynamic block of course you can see it by this grip but let's say i want to or i need in this elevation one single door and not a double door like so so probably what many people especially people who are starting to learn autocad they will explode this block right 
and they will erase some of the geometry and then you know modify it to have a single door so but that's a big mistake because it will give you trouble and problems in the future so let let me undo that using the Control Z option or Control C on my keyboard. And let me show you how to trim or clip blocks. So let's use the X clip command like so and press enter. And then of course we can select our block and press enter again. So over here we have many different options, but new boundary is the option that we need so let's select that and then rectangular option so at this point i can select anywhere over here and finally over here like so and boom you can see but now uh, this line we need to stretch it or move it a little bit to the right i'm gonna do it 0.5 like so just so i can see the line over here so finally, you can use the xclip frame uh, system variable or command and then click enter. And this will hide the outline around the clipping. So from zero to two, if we pick zero, it will go away the outline of our single door. All right. So that's a nice hidden feature of box, the ability to trim or clip blocks. So next, let's keep moving with the next hidden feature for AutoCAD blocks. And this is the ability to move blocks efficiently. Yes. So most of the time when we work with blocks, especially again, people who are learning AutoCAD, they move blocks using the regular move command, right? The M shortcut and they press enter and then they click their base point and move the objects like so so but let me undo that because there are two uh, quick tricks that i can show you to move objects efficiently because box one of the advantages uh, it's the ability to move it efficiently so the first one is that you can see the blocks have grips and you can simply click the grip and move your block like so and you can hear you can hold the shift on your keyboard, shift key, and you can move it freely like so. So that's one way to move blocks efficiently without having to call for the move command itself. And the next, the second one is, if you sometimes don't need uh, to move blocks with precision, you can simply select your block and holding the left um, button on your mouse, you can simply drag your block like so. So again, that's a quick way to move your objects or blocks in this case efficiently like so, all right? So let's keep moving with the next hidden features for blocks in AutoCAD. And the next one is the ability to background mask blocks. So for that, uh, let me see, show you over here. There is this sign right here that if we move it, it's a block, of course. You can move it like so, and it will hide the portion of the hatch on the back. So how do we do that in blocks? Isn't that a nice little feature of using blocks? Yes, of course. So let me for that, copy or move this block to show you how I did this all right so I'm gonna explode this uh, like so and then I'm gonna select my sign text and my polyline and move it here on the side so as you can see this is not a block anymore are simply objects so first I'm gonna convert it into a block using the B shortcut for creating a block. So once I do that, I'm gonna call this sign H2 because I already created this block before. So I'm gonna click OK. And then for my base point, I'm gonna click here on the corner of my signage. Now this is a block 
and we can double click inside our blog and click OK to add the hidden feature of mask or hidden background using a wipeout. So you can simply type wipeout like so. And then on the options we like, we want to use the polyline option. So let's select that and let's select our polyline. Erase polyline, no, of course. And now we can see that our text is hidden by our wipeout. So what we need to do is select our wipeout, make sure from the property palette the wipeout is selected. And let's use the DR to activate the draw order command and pick the option to back, like so. Once we do that, let's simply close and save the changes of our blog. And boom! As you can see, now this blog has this nice hidden feature of masking whenever it's behind, in this case, a hatch, so you don't have to waste time trimming the hatch and so on. All right, so those uh, five hidden features for blocks that I hope they can save you some time. Thanks to my supporters either on Patreon or as a YouTube member, member, here is another way that you can save more time in AutoCAD. So click on this video and I'll see you over there.